how to add and subtract in algebra, although in fact subtracting is really just the opposite of adding. So this is the rule, we add the numbers in front of the terms and the variables themselves don't change. So for example if we have 6x and 3x and we add them then the x's stay the same and the numbers in front add. 6 and 3 is 9, x doesn't change. If we have 3xy and 7xy, then we see the xy is the same. We add the numbers in front, 3 and 7 is 10, and xy stays the same. Last one, x squareds, well, are the same. 3 and 4 is 7, and the x squared doesn't change. Really important to never change the type of unknown when adding or subtracting. If the variables aren't the same, we cannot keep them the same, so we cannot add them. If the variables are different, then the two numbers cannot be added. So in this case, 5x and 3y do not have the same variables, they cannot be added. 3x squared and 4x do not have the same variables because x squared and x are not the same, they cannot be added. Right, subtracting, well subtracting is just the opposite of addition, so we subtract the numbers in front and the variables don't change. We have x's, 6 of them minus 3 of them, there's 3 of them, the variable has stayed the same. 3xy minus 7xy, both xy's, minus 4 because 3 minus 7 is minus 4, and the xy's stay where they are. And same with x squareds, 8 of them minus 3 of them is 5 of them. Subtract the numbers and the variables don't change. They also have to have exactly the same sorts of variables to be subtracted, just like addition. In this case, x and y are different, cannot be subtracted. x squared minus x, not the same, they cannot be subtracted. Do not be tempted to take an x away from the x squared. If the variables do not have exactly the same powers and letters, they cannot be added or subtracted. Sometimes the number in front is missing. The rules doesn't change. Add or subtract the numbers in front and the variables don't change. But this time there's no number in front, we just haven't written in the one that's there. So in these cases x plus 3x is 1x plus 3x. 5xy plus xy is 5xy plus 1xy. The ones are there, we just haven't written them in. Once we write them in, the answers are fairly obvious. 1 and 3x's is 4x's, 5xy's and another xy is 6xy's. Really, really careful when subtracting to obey the rules exactly. We're not taking away the p from 5p. We've got 5p's and we're taking away one of them, which leaves us with four of them. We have 8x squared, we're taking away 1x squared, which leaves us with seven of them. And this is the one to be really careful cannot take away an x from an x squared. They are different types of variables, they cannot be subtracted. There's one special case when the variable disappears and that's if you take away a number from itself, you have none of them and 0 x equals 0. So we add or subtract the numbers in front and the variables don't change. If there's no number in front, we add a 1 and we keep the rule exactly as before. The variables still don't change, we just add 1 or subtract 1 to the other number.